so that was some interesting uh, topics that we had there in the last one. Yeah. Um, I think it's going to kind of peel right on over from the uh, from the nude pick things. We can just jump right into some more tech savvy stuff that we've picked up on this week. Invasion of privacy. Yeah, yeah. invasion of privacy. Invasion of the privacy so, snatchers. So <laughs> what's, what's interesting is that so the, not to be confused with invasion of the private snatchers. Ooh, that's that right. sounds like a YouTube video. <laughs> I think there is a movie or a, uh, right? a YouPorn yeah. video. What, what I think is is kind of an interesting question on the deep nude thing, uh, just to go back to that, is the fact that, you know, if, if you're able to take any picture and run that through there, you run into some age issues. Yeah. And some, you know, that's the thing you got to worry about. Yep. And Especially if you're a Democrat. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I'm talking about for kids. I mean. No, I knew so where you were. So that's that's what he was talking about, so, too. So we're seeing a lot of these places that they're basically saying that pedophilia... <laughs> Pardon me, is not illegal. Right. They're actually making it a part of mainstream. Yeah, the Democrats are trying to make it a mainstream part of society. And 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 you kind of got to wonder does that does that then bear credence to the fact that they are involved in child sex trade? Yeah, I mean, going back to, <laughs> to Pizzagate yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. I mean, is that really real? So you you're, know? Pr- you're actually protecting a, 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 an elite a, a class product, of, yeah, a product uh-huh. or an economy that that right now just has it has it been shown into the light right it's a it's a it's a um, um, black market so to speak and and it's funny the more that that comes out the more these conspiracy guys that talk about bohemian grove and all these other places kind of makes a little more sense now because you're looking at what they're trying to protect and what they're trying to keep from prying eyes of the public right and so what i think is funny so what they're going to do with your prying eyes is they're going to start prioritizing what you can and cannot see and do. Right. Absolutely. We're so, seeing that already. Yeah. I mean, they're going to look dictate at, the narrative, too. Yeah. So your ability to search is going to be diminished. Your ability to control surveillance around your house is going to be diminished. Yep. Your ability to transmit communications from one person to another is going to be diminished to some point of control now. Right. And, and it's funny because we're going to speak about multiple modes of access and denial here. Yeah. That, that, that really should raise red flags. I mean, it's 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 kind of scary. Well, Amazon's top on that list. Um, looking well, at what they're the big horse with the money. Right they now. are, yeah. they are, and they have the infrastructure to do what they're talking about doing. They have the money, the infrastructure. Even if they have to and use the some of the contracts, it, that's where the you know I'll think in my mind that's where a lot of the infrastructure is going to come from. I think it's going to be funded and probably used existing infrastructure to make this drone pro- uh, program that they've got talk happen. That, that they've been See, I about think happen. this happened way before this all happened. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When the were, deep when, state's been at it for a while. When they were building giant server farms everywhere. Oh, oh, definitely. I think this shit was all just... That's in the plans. It, it was the plans to get us here. Just lining so. up. Just lining up right, for, for, right. That, for that day. Because what I think has happened is that They've just been waiting for the right time to introduce sure. it. I think they've been doing this for a while. Well, and I think they've got it perfected now. I think mm-hmm. that's what you're seeing is we right. have a product that we can roll out to people. So what we're talking about <laughs> is Amazon has now posted uh, on on their on their page, on their Facebook page and, and other places and in news articles that they now have the ability to do <laughs> security surveillance over your homes. Um, they're doing the delivery drones and as along with along with doing the delivery drones, they're offering a package where they can offer security for your home via the air surveillance in their drones. So instead of Ring or Arlo or right. any of these other services, right. they're basically taking your ability to manage your own security and, and put it in their hands. Right. Yeah. So they're. Yeah, I'm going to trust that. Exactly. Well, and you, you know, we've, we've already seen abuse of the Ring people, mm-hmm. the Alexa, the Alexa yeah. people. Oh, yeah. Um, Amazon folks looking in and prying into your accounts. These are unauthorized taps. Alexa is always listening. Yeah, it, these are unauthorized taps into your accounts, and they are listening to you. What's yeah. What's funny about this whole thing is Amazon's able to do this because they have access to certain open source uh, sites that that have information. You know, hell, your your property information. They can mm-hmm. just tap into something from from the, the county offices sure, to show you where it's all online and, yeah. and the thing is is they weren't able to do any of this stuff had they not had access sure. to this information and back in 2010 when i was at one of the intel schools these are 2010 2011 numbers mm-hmm. that at the time our uh, our instructor was telling us that really the web if you look at the web as just the entire universe of, of space mm-hmm. that really people only really have access to anywhere from 
eight to ten percent of what's available. Oh yeah. On and that was like yeah. in 2010, sure. 2000. So thing about the technology the, the uni- of speed and everything that's yeah, increased so since the then. Universe has expanded mm-hmm. since then. Sure. So, Exponentially. Yes. So it's freaking crazy just how much either either you you as a as a user don't know how to use the internet or more roadblocks have been put up that the things that you're curious about or want to go look and at. that brings up google right yes, exactly I mean, bingo well, well what's really funny is back at back in 2000 i went to a um one of the very first internet business conferences in the u.s it was yeah. mississippi state in starksville mississippi and there was a army colonel there that was conducting the class on using the internet for commerce which mm-hmm. i thought was interesting yeah i was like i would have expected a business guy but he's like no I'm the expert in this field. We're the ones that basically are controlling the World Wide Web. You know, and he explained. Well, I mean, that's where it all started. The the Internet was technically started in the 60s by the government as a military tool. I mean, that's where it comes from. Well, he told us during that class that it was never built to be safe. Right. The Internet, it was never built to be safe. It was built to be accessed anywhere in the world through certain channels that we can use. Well, it's a sponge. It's a sponge form to soak up information. And he always told us, he said, if you're considering putting any kind of financial information on it, I would ask that you reconsider. <laughs> and because he, he said basically at some point in time, whether it's now or in the future, it will become compromised. Sure. And so that was back in 2000. Yep. You know, so we're now 19 years later. That's just coming into the age out of dial up and into broadband. I mean, right. that was the that was the that was the very start of that, the, the genesis of that. So, so back in the early they days, knew. If you were a spy, you're sitting here, ee, er, ee, yeah, 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 right forever. Now it's just like <laughs> flash of, it's instantaneous. You've yeah. got mail. So yeah. you were talking about you were talking about Google. It's been interesting to see what's been coming out of them lately, and they're they're wanting to shape opinion. The um, Project political Veritas thing. Yeah. yeah. So so yeah, we're talking about shaping public opinion now. That's what Google Can is finding itself Trump in situation. charge of. Yeah. So we had an exec come out on a Veritas tape that basically said. And I'm going to paraphrase. She said it another way, and it was it was a dog whistle for what she meant. What they basically got the gist of from this woman in these private tapes was, look, we don't like what happened in the 2016 ele- uh, election. But she said that outright. Yep. And we're looking to make sure that doesn't happen again. That part of it, I'm paraphrasing. But she basically said, we want to prevent this from happening again. Right. So when Elizabeth Warren speaks about breaking up Google into smaller companies, this is this is not a good thing. This was her words. This is not a good thing because now we can't manipulate the data and do what we need to do because we're all these small entities that can no longer work together. Yep. Now this- so a huge fear from them not being able to manipulate the data. This thing that they took on this this new mission it was a pivot from the mission or the the their normal course of business when obama was in 2016 they so they specifically said 2016 was a pivot date yeah so what what i find interesting to your point uh sam is that obama touted himself as the first president to utilize twitter and social media to help better inform the people until trump got hold of it yeah exactly (laughs) so what i think is funny is how they killed that yeah and they're in there even more like today point i mean that's 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 an important thing right so with with what google is doing here because because i read the article before i before i arrived Mm -hmm. here eating my schlotzky sandwich Mm, was that the google and basically it was sort of them talking to other big tech companies right was that this is sort of their their rallying cry is we as big tech companies who have this huge capabilities that that large that smaller companies don't have they wouldn't necessarily be tasked with trying to prevent another trump situation from happening therefore it's up to us to do this thing so breaking us up yeah is if you break us up we can't we can't do that we can't stay on task with this mission so once they achieve all that stuff They'll re-pivot back to whatever it is sure. that... Well, it's coming to critical mass, too, because today Twitter announced that they have this new policy out. Exactly. That public for public officials there. who have more than 100,000 followers, mm-hmm. i.e. Trump, that they are going to flag his tweets that violate their terms of service and suppress them, make them more difficult to show up, make them more difficult to share... 
and prevent a lot of those from going viral. That's but funny because you're you're slashing your own company's throat by doing. Here's that. what's funny is they the word they used was it was for the public good. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was. That's the most important part. It's I being got from fed this. to you. Yeah. Very interesting. I mean, it's it's uh it totally takes the internet out well, of the game. It totally think, takes the information to watch. Personally, I think Trump should take his toys and go to another platform and for the for the election cycle and just see what yeah, happens. Yeah, just drag us all to MeWe. So, so it's funny you say that because yes. I'm sitting here and I'm watching and I'm listening to this conversation in kind of like disappointed on confusion. Yeah. Because when I when I sit there, I, it kind of reminds me, uh, you ever see Patton? Yeah, the movie. Okay, you're, and so they're they're fighting uh it's it's Catherine Pass. And so they're they're fighting Rommel and his tanks, and they're waiting for air support, and they're having a problem getting air support. So they try to use radios, and radios weren't working. Okay. So he grabs a guy, says, get your ass over here. You tell this guy to do this way. You hold him by the nose. You kick him in the ass while we're waiting for this. <laughs> it's the dude on the ground that's running messages. Yep. Yeah. That's going to get circumvent all this technology bullshit. Yeah, you're going to have to you're going to have to find a way. You've got to stop giving them the money. And that's yeah. what you're doing. Every time you use them you're you're well, handing them a check. Well, and, they're, and they're, on, but they're using federal tax dollars. They are. They're teaming up with government agencies to do this shit. Right. It's our fucking money. Yeah. If, if it's you, our money, not their. And they the built all their infrastructure off of our money. Our they money. did. Yeah. yeah, it's true. Well, the other thing is the guys who pop up to try to change mm-hmm. the the situation like Gab, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if y'all are familiar yeah, with know, Gab. Yeah. But they have been targeted and drugged through the mud as racist and everything mm-hmm. else, and then lost their financial funding through mm-hmm. financial institutions, have been banned from the Apple Store, from the Google Play Store. Mm-hmm. I mean, these guys are being pushed aside because they're trying to circumvent the public narrative or the public pipeline that's Google and Twitter and everything else. So anybody who comes into the the sphere of competition with them is getting targeted and pushed out. So my question then is a class action lawsuit. Okay. If you're selling the platform of a business. Sure, it depends on your judge. Based upon serving the public, you take money, you develop a service, and then you steal the service. (laughs) Isn't that breach of contract? I would think. Yeah, I'll say, Graham. Okay, just and technology in general, Mm -hmm. at its base core, Mm -hmm. it is to address a convenience that you would rather have over a hardship. Yep, definitely. That that is the whole thing. Yeah. So the thing is, is nobody wants to give up convenience. You know, and that's a good point because I have a friend that um, they just built a house. Yeah. And so the biggest challenge for them is to get their tech to work. So they have the ability. (laughs) Yes. Bingo. They have their, their biggest challenge is to get their tech to work. You work your hardest to get your convenience. <laughs> yeah. So what ends up happening is this this tech will control environment, mm-hmm. will control lights, will control security, yeah. will control comfort, will control viewing music and television. And everything's, right. yeah. at the, everything's at the touch everything's of Everything's at the touch of and a button. And that's all great until you connect it to the internet. Exactly. Even the refrigerator yeah. is going to be connected to the internet. And, I, and I'm sitting here and I'm going, now, I'm excited for them because they're excited about it, but they don't really realize. How fast can that the, all be taken and used against taken you and, and against taken away you. from you? Exactly. So what ends up happening, so we know that anything that has tech involved that's an oversight or a monitoring system, right? if it shuts down, the mechanics are gone. So think about this. What you just said, Graham, the greater good, that's, yeah. what they, that's how they come at this, and that's mm-hmm. the words they use yeah. is the greater good. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's say... They passed some laws like they did in New York where you can't have extra large sodas. And they're just going to take this and run with it a little bit. You can't have extra large sodas. You can't have greasy food. What are you going to do one day when the government says, hey, you can only eat steak once a week. I'm going to lock your refrigerator out. Mm -hmm. Or I'm going to lock the steak drawer where the steaks go. Mm -hmm. And now you can't open that because the government's now passed law. For your convenience, you've you've built yourself a prison. Even even, three years ago, that would have been conspiracy theory and far-fetched. But... Since 1984 has pretty much come to fruition in our day and age, <laughs> it's very it's a, it's a hard possibility. to say that that's, that's happen, not. But it's yeah. a possibility. They're selling your information to healthcare. Exactly. So yep. that what keeps that private doctor? I mean, how many of us have to deal with the bullshit where you go in and the doctor says you need this, but then they call the insurance and the, the advisor says no, you don't need that. Right. My wife needed a procedure that required uh, it was surgical. Yeah. They were cutting on her. Yeah. And they did they didn't feel the an, the anesthesia was a 
necessary. Necessary, right. And I'm you like, get, are you fucking yeah, kidding I've, me? I've had the just same. Just have her bite down on a stick. Yeah, She'll be all right. exactly. And it's like, you know. So um, you're, you're just an operator on the other end of a phone yeah. representing an insurance company. You don't right. hold a medical degree, but right. yet you're telling me right. that they don't need this. So at some point. No, the time, computer is telling you. Yeah. Did you remember that there's a movie Tom Selleck made many, many years ago called Runaway? Yeah. Yes, yeah, I, I remember, remember that. that. Remember that? Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. all about the robots that, were controlling everything. Wasn't fucking Gene Simmons in that shit? Yeah, he was. God damn. It. Yeah, it was it was a horrible Lick movie. Lick it up. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey I yeah. like that. Hey, yeah. I was a Kiss fan growing up. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. Well, it was a horrible movie. With face paint or without? Uh, he's, he's without. A paint guy. Oh, come on, you got to be a paint guy. But no, I mean, I, I was a fan like when Peter Chris sure. was part of the yeah, band. Yeah, I was too. My first big rock concert was a Kiss concert. Really? So yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, so do you ever think about Beth? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, That's dude, actually- that is one of the best songs ever. <laughs> yeah. You do not mess with Beth. That's a that's a dedication to his wife's song. Because Beth will yeah. lick it up, dude. So speaking speaking of Israelites in space, yes, we had the uh, we had the that Jewish organization that uh, it was a private organization <laughs> that launched. I just got up to you. Yeah, me yeah, too. Me too. Well, we went, up to you. If we're gonna do the Gene whole Simmons. Gene Simmons thing, it was a great roll right into it, baby. I was like, oh, here it comes. Oh damn! So and we missed it exactly. <laughs> Star Sam child, dude, Star it. child. Mother- they were all motherfucking profiling. I'm telling Pro- you, come on, yeah. keep up. <laughs> it's That's like, racist. It's like he already has his helmet on, though. Uh, oh, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's racist. So, so we had we had a private organization in Israel going to go to the moon and land on the moon and got really close. I was really proud of. Space I mean, it's IL? space IL. It yeah, is yeah. space IL. IL yeah. Is who it is. Um, yeah. a, a private organization. They had some. They had some funding from other groups. Uh, I think it was like thirty million dollars is mm-hmm. what it cost. You them. do know Google's involved in this. I too, do. Right? I do. Yes. And that's what. Uh, that's how I planned on rolling this in until you brought up Gene Simmons, who is obviously <laughs> Jewish. That so, we were going to go right into that with the Gene Simmons. So spit. I, I got to tell you Gene Simmons st- story really quick. Okay, so, before we do this, I know so, what this is. About. Yeah. So have you ever watched the celebrity roast? Yes. Yeah. Oh man, Lisa Lampanelli smoked him one yeah. day. She was sitting there talking about his hair. <laughs> she sat there and she looked at him. She goes, "You know, Jim like, like a Simmons patch of pubic hair or with something." With the tongue it? that no. can touch your chest and all the women you claim to sleep with, and then when you become a star, you look in the mirror one day, and go, "You know what? I'm going to change my hair." <laughs> And what did you do? You decided to go to something somewhere between the Planet of the Apes <laughs> and what was it? Something else. She, and she smoked. Oh my! That's pretty funny. That chick's pretty funny. Yeah. Man. She goes. Well, I gotta Liz, give it to her. What were you thinking, Gene? Exactly. You know? I was like, she was a good thing you got that. Another Jewish for lady, you. by the way. Yeah. So there you go. Smoking Maybe she good. needs to be part of the IL program. She can bring some levity to this. You know, it's, it's funny because it, the, this is very coincidental because now you have this whole Iranian thing flaring up. Yep. And you know, so there's a lot of um, there's a lot of uh, conversation going around in inner think tanks about this whole thing because you know that one. What is it? How many billions of dollars did Obama give them? It was a ton, 150 billion, if I'm not yeah, mistaken. Yeah, so, so they're they're funding these programs in Iran, and now you have the Israelis trying to you know say, hey, look, you know, we're doing yeah. this. I, I sit there, and then it, the other thing that keeps coming into my mind is Biden. Yeah. And Biden's son getting this big China tech, from China tech, tech deal. Yeah, and I'm like, you know, there's so much going on over there. It's, it's almost like they're distracting you from looking at what's really happening. You know, know. If you, again, if you, it's, <laughs> it's our money again. You know, and I'm sitting here and I'm watching this. I'm going, you know, so uh, you know, the 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 uh, Jews on the moon. Yeah, thing is kind you know, of, that sounds like a Mel Brooks movie. Jews does, on the moon. Yeah, that, I mean, that does. could be a Mel Brooks. If Mel was still around, around yeah. he would do that for us, and it would be absolutely hysterical. And it would be blackballed, banned. Oh, it wouldn't yeah. now. But if, it, if this was the 1980s, right. Mel Brooks would have the movie out for this already, and it would be hysterical. Well, it's it's it's. it's Oh, and then they dra- drag Elon Musk into this. Oh, and I'm like, he's he's managed to stick his 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 foot in his mouth several times. Yeah, um, he They've confused the up. moon. They, he confused the moon with Mars. Oh, he just Mars. needs to delete his Twitter account. Th- that's yeah. that's just the moon in red. That's all that is. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny because you know we're sitting here and we're looking at some of these big enterprises like Amazon, and we're talking about Google. And then we have this small country over in Israel trying to trying to get to the moon. Trying, but they did it on a SpaceX rocket, by the right. way, which is yes. an Elon Musk rocket. Right. So, 
That's um, funny. Uh, but uh, yeah, the seventh. You know, they're looking at it, they're only the seventh nation I know, I, I to actually amazed. make it to, to yeah. lunar orbit. That's oh, yeah. pretty impressive. I mean, what they did was extremely oh, impressive you know on it, the right? budget that they, they had. But they're they're. I freaking, was rooting for them. I'm like, man, dude, land it. That'll yeah, be awesome. Their little lunar lander thing came into the freaking moon at like three three hundred and ten miles an hour. <laughs> it was cooking, baby. Because I was thinking with the machine learning that we've been talking about, I'm pretty yeah. sure that the way that they had it timed is every time Iran passed over at a certain point when the moon was coming, some electronic arms come out and you've got this electric <laughs> fuck you, <laughs> fuck you, <laughs> fuck you and then it goes away and then comes back around for the next iteration. Next pass and here we are flipping you off again. That's funny. Well, you know, it's interesting because it's like a lunar, everybody looks lunar at, cuckoo clock. It, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect, Graham. Everybody looks at like Google as this big powerful thing, but I saw a video the other day where the Google Map app ran everybody into a, a mud bank. Did you see that? No. So they were they Google Maps are the worst to follow anyway. Google so will not get you there. Nine cars, <laughs> nine cars followed their detour recommendation yeah. and ended up being stuck in a three foot mud bank. Oh, Larry wow. the cable drive wow. was driving yeah. the Google truck that day. So yeah. this photograph and Google's into, AI couldn't yeah. take that. Remember into that whole deal I was telling you about with these like goddamn backup cameras? Yeah. Have these people that look at backup cameras uh-huh. and sell their fucking mirrors? Right. That's the shit that fucking pisses me oh, off. Oh, you know it. That's what I think of Google Maps. There so, you go. You know, so I, I'm 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 t- I'm kind of going back to the Amazon drone thing for a minute. Mm-hmm. So we were talking a little bit about how this can really happen because we all know with drones that their service time is not very long. Battery. So battery technology is very limiting right. in this in this application, especially wireless mm-hmm. and anything lifting anything over a certain amount of weight. Right. So I got to think the only thing they'd be able to carry are the things that come in a letter less than three pounds. Yeah, you couldn't be a right. whole lot, you know. Right. Necklaces. Depends on the size of the drone, though. The right. So so what I what I think is funny. So in my mind, we were kind of gaming it out, and so I can just can you imagine the air traffic problems we would have with mothership drones? <laughs> what just hit the roof? Hovering. <laughs> Graham, Graham, I got I got somewhere to go with this. Hold hovering, on. Hovering over every neighborhood. It's going to look like Independence Day, the movie. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and you're going to have all this shit. Or UFO battles. sightings are going to skyrocket. See, there Ins- you go. Insurance exactly. policies. So, so I have a theory on this, on this UFO, because I know we're going to talk about this UFO incident. Right. So there was a, there's a video out that I say is fake. This lady caught this little alien running through her driveway. Uh-huh. Okay. Did y'all see that? No. So, so yeah, there's a lady that caught, you know. Missouri looks, cornfield. Yeah. She, Fucking a, Midwest people. There's a camera shooting down her driveway. Okay. And, you know, there's this little alien, this little skinny, spindly little dude just kind of walking through her driveway out into the street. E.T. E.T. Yeah. So E.T. It, so what I think it is, what close I think encounters is, of the eighth kind. No, I think it's all this technology they're experimenting mm-hmm. with all this technology, and they know that they can't fly these things unmanned. Right. So what they're doing is they're growing a whole new race of human beings. Okay. <laughs> to pilot, to pilot, <laughs> to the pilot drones. these drones. <laughs> We're, we're, Somebody called Chip up. He's off course. We're, yes. crea- we're creating a, like this worker class. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> I, I swear to God, I, 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 I sound like somebody else we know that does this all the time. <laughs> but I'm telling you, I swear, what they're doing, all these UFO sightings, yeah. it's got to be Bezos' dudes taking it out for it a is. ride. That's what it they're is. They're just taking the new technology out for a ride. No, there's probably some you validity know? to that. Because when you look at all the Area 51 <laughs> stuff, it's like, okay, because with the, the problem with high-performance aircraft yeah. especially military yeah is the human component they can only take so many g's so many g's right? you can only pull so many g's so when you pass out being big bodied people with a lot of musculature and stuff all you do is breed that person down the best pilots are smaller the yeah. smaller you get yeah. as a pilot sure. the better pilot you are the better so, fire, fighter so you get pilot these you are. weird looking human beings these old Haley joe less, osmond looking kids so yeah that, that pop out there. <laughs> I just lost the lawyer. <laughs> oh my god, dude! I completely Ailey missed that. Joe so, Osmond yeah. alien children. Yeah. So how did get, we get here? So you get this whole breed of so I'm more children worried, of the corn. I'm more worried about the detention centers these poor kids are being raised in. Right. These alien drone. That's pilots. what AOC was looking yeah, at. She was crying. Pilots. She was at Area 51. She wasn't at the border. She got lost. No. She followed Google <laughs> and it took her to Area 51. No, they're taking all lost. the kids from the border <laughs> and they're making them drone pilots. <laughs> Here's what's twisted is okay. We are completely off the rails. This is not. These are not immigrants. These are now the new hosts of this thing that we're going to. There you go. Exactly. We are like way beyond now. So So getting back to some more reality based stuff here. The big blip that we saw are the motherships. Yeah. 
And these dudes are just taking shit out for a test drive. That's what it is. That's what it is. It's, it's got to be. be. It's got to be. Gotta be. <laughs> so let's say. So uh, we, we can take that the Amazon stuff uh, and let's uh, go in a little bit different okay. direction than fucking aliens. and. It's not aliens. They're fabricated. <laughs> these are altered humans. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Come on. DNA structure. Yeah. Just take a couple of little Man. here and there, a little A and B and out. What and happens to a person when you feed them soy and vegetables all day? They start looking like these aliens. I'm telling you. And I was going to say like they're the millennials. Yeah, the mo- yeah, it's the new millennial. Yeah. <laughs> oh goodness. You start taking some rungs. So what about the, the privacy strings. issues, though? Seriously. So the privacy and those issues. those those drones overhead <clears throat> spying on your property. You have a reasonable expectation of privacy, and to, and you have a right to reasonably use the airspace sure. relative to your surface rights, right? So, so that's yeah. all the lawyer lead. Yeah. Spanglies, whatever you want to call so it. So the big issue is going to be what do you do to intervene? So if you shoot down a drone. Yep. Be a, that'll be a federal crime at some yeah. point. I guarantee well, that's that. Why, mm-hmm. That's why big business puts these these legislators in their pocket right. to right. write rules so you can't sure. fucking do that. But then what happens to the industry, because what I think is going to happen is you're going to have a whole new set of entrepreneurs out there who are going to be developing cloning technology or technology that will interfere with the cameras or the scanners you on your own those drones. Of aliens that all you do is <laughs> hook them up into a so, thing and feed them and let them fly drones. So one of the potentials of this, Rick, is where I went with this when we were talking about it a while ago, was what about capture drones that'll go out and capture? You know how stealing yeah. off a porch is real big right now. Sure. They, yeah. They've recently made that a, 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 a crime here in Texas, right. a, a felony. It's a felony. Yeah. Yep. So. What are they going to do? They, you're going to have people making drones that capture other drones that capture Amazon drones. That that uh, there's raptors that are already yeah, doing we it. Watching, exactly. we they're, the they're training. They're training. They're training birds of prey to attack drones. Really? Oh, that is yeah. awesome. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. So I want to say it's an I want to see that YouTube video. So Falcon racing, it's on. Yeah, I, it's on. That's going to be getting, awesome. I'm going to have a bird. I'm going to get an aviary outside and start racing. It's no falcons. longer bird racing now. It's like it's like a, a bird. Um, yeah. bird hunting now yeah. where you just basically go to an area where so, so mark here's my another, words though there's going to be technology to counter the, the surveillance there activities has to be of the well drone. then there's going to be all these other what ifs like okay let's say the drone crashes and I've ordered some um, adult novelty stuff let's say off of Amazon right <laughs> Privacy and this thing violation. bites it in the yard and yeah, the, let's, but, let's stretch this out yeah no the, the, the neighbor the neighbor <laughs> the neighbor's kid picks up my package in his yard and now he's got this new Literally. lightsaber Package it, yeah. picks up my yeah. package. You know, he's running around with his new lightsaber in my, you know, <laughs> in the front yard. Your unicorn playing Star Wars. Your unicorn horn came in because <laughs> because you didn't receive it. Yeah, it's not yours. Okay. So that that's how I would. It's Luke at Skywalker's that. now. Yeah, it what would those? be. It would still be on Amazon. Why okay. do you have all yeah. those adult toys on the roof of your house? <laughs> <laughs> Can you see it? It's, you're standing outside, and there's a big thunderstorm comes out, and all these drones just start dropping, dropping their out of shit. the sky. Yeah, they start dropping their shit to run back to the mothership. Right, and there's a woman out fr- outside. Free stuff! It. It's raining Amazon. There's a woman outside in a robe, standing there looking at her roof, fucking pissed <laughs> yeah. like a motherfucker. And the package is going <laughs> and there's some, across the gutter. There's some. Poor, oh my god! It did come some, with a battery. <laughs> there's some poor guy grabbing a ladder, humping up that roof to get that thing off the roof. Uh, Honey, it's over there. Get that thing off my exactly. roof. Exactly. Uh, it, it's it's. This is just ludicrous in the fact I don't think they ever intend to deliver one thing with a drone. No, I don't think they I do I think either. this is all just a grab. Grab. A yes. grab of rights, technology, airspace. Totally. And your privacy. I don't think that shit's ever going to happen. I think what they're going to do is they're going to run it in limited test market. It's going to fail. But they're going to say, oh, you know what? We can't lose all this money because we have all this technology yeah, now. We, yeah, well, the there's going to be a so they, for That sale. is the new police state right there. It is. That is yep. the new police state. No they're they're going to sell it. their services to law to enforcement. Law enforcement. Yeah. Yeah. To, to Pablo, security companies. Pablo whatever. Escobar right. to the highest. Whoever's got the money. Whoever's got the money exactly. and can pay for it. Yep. So that's where this shit's going to go. So don't think for a minute that it's, oh, dude, it's going to be delivering shit to my house. No, it'll never happen. It will never. You can't. You first of all, you can't rely on the telemetry. Okay? Right. The yeah, telemetry the logistics will never get there. you there. So okay, so let's take a, a different approach here. So we we know what seems to be coming now. Mm-hmm. So how do you mitigate it? Because the first thing that comes to my mind, you stop is, it from being funded. Well, how I look, stop at ordering it is, from Amazon. This, yeah. This, okay. Because I had yeah. I had a, I had a cu- couple of thoughts on this. Is okay. Normally I have Amazon drops at the house. Mm-hmm. Now I would actually go to friggin' Whole Foods and pick my shit up because sure. that means that a drone's not going to come there. Right. Also, if it, I'm, it might even encourage me to move further out to some place that's more remote. Yeah. Only because I know that flight times and all that sure. other stuff 
it they're not going to be able to get them out there yeah. reliably. So yeah. I would right. actually move out of that network, so to speak. So here's where I'm, I'm writing some notes down here. So here's where it's going to break down to. It's going to become a liability issue. It's going right. to become a cost issue. Mm -hmm. It's going to become a manpower issue. And it's going to be a loss of goods revenue issue. So when you start looking at the cost of what it takes to maintain a building with people in it, yeah. that's a pretty easy fixed number, okay? Right. How many vehicles do I have to maintain and all that stuff? That's a fixed number. Sure. The loss and liability, big question mark. Lots of lots of variables that happen. In yeah, that. the maintenance of that infrastructure, big question mark. But it goes I, back. I think if they've sold, if you talk about selling a hog, Yeah. They sold a hog here. They sold basically, and I know when they went into it, they were like, look, just read this. Don't speak out loud. Sign the paper. This is what this really is. They'll I don't a, think they have any intention of doing They'll this. be billed out by the government, and then that in turn, it'll be, we'll pay you back by allowing you to use the infrastructure. We heard this shit with Solyndra. Exactly. We heard this shit with wind power. We heard this yep. shit with solar power. And what happened to those guys? They took the money and, and ran. ran. Yep. And now, now the chief instigator is sitting behind a streaming TV network worth billions of dollars. Billions of dollars. Of your money. Of our money. Yeah. And that that's where this is where this shit goes. This is just like it's like selling tackle to a fisherman. The more bright it is, the more it flashes. Oh, you'll catch more fish. You throw it out there, shit doesn't work. Every time. That's what happens with these people. These people lie all day long and all they're after is your money, your rights. And how you live your life. And that's information all about you. That's all that, they want. That's the scary part, you know, yeah. because if these drones are going to be collecting information, yeah. they will be able to match that up with everything that's online about you. Yeah. Sure. They already do. It's confirmation. Yeah. I mean, it's already, you're, you're discussing about, you know, some product with your friends and then five minutes later you get in your car, pull up your phone and there's a freaking ad for that product on your phone. Oh yeah, for sure. Happens. Mm -hmm. This is going to take it to the next level because they're going to have visual surveillance. They're going to have all other types of information to put it together. And the government wants that. So hopefully we get, we continue to elect more libertarian, more Republican privacy concerned politicians. But we can't rely upon that. See, and I hear you and I and I want to believe that. OK, I want to believe that. But how many people go to Washington, D.C.? on our behalf exactly mm -hmm. none of them they go there to become Very millionaires few. they come there to become a senator to become a president to leave the white house to become a billionaire somewhere else that's where we well, get in trouble with this shit gaining, we don't stop that getting rich is one thing but influence influence mm -hmm. is what gets them sure. everywhere yeah and it's and it's what's even worse about it is they leave the shores of our country yeah and they talk shit about us while they're making millions off of us and that's what's really accurate aggravating about this whole thing it's it's funny because you know when when i looked at this lineup of information i was like just really just laughing at it yeah but the more i talk about it it'll get like, you spun dude. it's almost like an epiphany of you know what yeah. they have no this is all just don't look at the man behind the curtain they want they just want total control of you welcome to the global network 